Hello everybody, this is Joseph. Um, today I'm doing a bit of a different video. Um, there, I was introduced to this toy company called Beast Kingdom. And it, if you know me, I'm a Mego fan. And uh, I saw the, uh, the uh, this company put out a Joker, or is coming out with a Joker figure. And the Heath Ledger. And uh, I realized that these were Mego scale. Like almost. And I was like, and then I saw their ret retro cloth. And I was like, yeah, that's, definite, that's a definite buy for me. And honestly... I love the Christian Bale Batman look, and I was like, you know what, I gotta get this. So I got this off Amazon used for like uh, $90 uh, with free shipping, and uh, it looks great. I've seen they did some photos and review, uh, other reviews and stuff, and stuff like that of it, and I'm just been excited to get it. So today, it's finally here. Yes. Alright, so out of the box, it's here. The accessories are falling off, but here. Oops. <laughs> well, let's get that stuff out of the way. All right, so let's get these accessories out. All right, everything seems to appear. Yeah, I think everything's out. And on the back here, I would like to show you everything that's included with it, but uh, we have some stickers with Amazon Warehouse, so sorry about that, but you get a picture of Batman. So here is the head, the, the Joker head it comes with. is like extra Joker head. This is this will come in handy because I got the Joker figure in Nancy. I, I can't wait to put him at the table and have him laugh like this. With this head sculpt, so it's a very nice head sculpt. The paint details are very nice. Um, everything looks awesome. So you get this nice uh, bonus head. The wash on the hair is very nice. Done. It's very nicely done. The warm makeup applications look great. On and uh, yes, yeah, so everything about the head looks really good. So there is your Heath Ledger uh, accessory head. Very nice details, and the sculpting work is really good. And this, I forgot what this is in the, mo in the movie. I think it's like the uh, uh, glider. I can't. I cannot remember what this is. I need research. It's been a long time since I saw the movie. Then here is, um, I think, right here is a uh, uh, his. It's like a utility belt. I'm not sure if this is. If this, <coughs> sorry, if this is a extra or just another accessory, I'll have to check out and research it. And then here you get these uh, the different types of hands with it. You get tons of hands. It's like Mezco level stuff. You get tons of different hands. I mean, every, everything you can imagine, honestly. They got pretty much every hand accessory you can think of. And uh, yeah, like honestly, you get tons of hands. And here you get like this little grenade, this little freaking like syntax grenade looking thing. And then here is, this, this is cool. Instead of getting a, a same head, they give you different mouth accessories, like this thing. Where are they? Like, yeah, like this little uh, mouth accessory you can add on to your Batman. Then here you have one that's like speaking right here. It's hard to get. It's hard to capture these. And one that's like speaking. And then you get one that's. Um, let me make sure I get the right one. That's speak. Like honestly, they, they have the the three ones you get are like all talking. It's fun. It's funny how it looks. Here is the grappling gun that he comes with. It looks very nice. The detailed paint applications are nice. And here you get a bomb launcher that is very nice. And then you can tell here the details. Look at look at the, the details they give you on this. It's just very cool um, how it's put together and everything. All the detail work is just very wonderfully done. And then along with that, you get three batarangs. Um, these are made of a like almost a bendy plastic. So you just got the extra battery rings it's nice to have those around um i think this is just a replacement belt i'm pretty sure i might be wrong i might be wrong with that but so here is the figure finally we have him and honestly first impressions he is very good it reminds me of a, it's got like the uh the the suit quality is of like a mezco almost um i, I have one mezco i used to have two of them but um the suit quality is very nice and just for comparison, let me get a uh, Mego figure. Um... <sighs> I, I grabbed the nearest Mego figure I had near me. Let me move this out of the way. So here is a Mego figure. Let me make sure it stands up. There is, they pre they're pretty much the exact same height as a Mego figure. And oh my dude, this Batman looks so good. Um, I love that it's Mego scale. I wanted to make that's what the thing was. It all started. I wanted to make a Batman uh, Bell 
uh, Batman and the Heath Ledger Joker, but I was like, you know what, that would be expensive, and honestly, it wouldn't, it wouldn't turn out right. But um, having this in hand, it's so worth the money. Like, this is just a beautiful figure. Um, let's take a look at this head sculpt. The head sculpt is very nice. I love it. It's got a very good bell um, uh, likeness under the shadowing and everything in the sculpt is very well done. It's just a pr fantastic figure. The, the details on the suit are just out of this world amazing. So yeah, the articulation is very nice. It has, look on the box here, I, th I believe 26 points of articulation. I'm pretty sure that's what the listing said. Um, for the figure and uh, pretty much it bends nicely legs are very nice it's got swivels right here I believe it's got swivels to the legs I might I think that's swivels yeah I think I don't know might be just the legs um, the suit it's all it's like a cloth suit underneath but it has these rubber or leather uh, attachments on top and it gives it that very cool Miguel look so yeah this figure is menacingly awesome the cape is extendable so you can pose the cape in many ways, you, in any way you can. And I forgot to mention that this figure does indeed come with a uh, accessory guide here. But it comes with your own personal Batman stand, the Dark Knight trilogy. So it's, for what you're getting, this is seriously one of the greatest figures I've ever bought. Um, the, the, the accessories you get all the stuff the posability just looks so good i've always wanted a cool bell batman movie i mean batman figure and i think it's this is just 30 hits the right spot honestly uh the need i wanted it looks so good so everything looks very nice um the everything they just nailed the look there's just so much detail going on here um the cape is very nicely made it, it, it's got the wire it's got wiring in there but it's not like two wire where it looks ridiculous and uh yeah so articula articulation wise yeah you got a lot of feet articulation you can do it this way that way this way and uh yeah the clothing's very nice i just love that it feels like a mezco the thing about mezco is i love them but the scale is not really my particular um favorite the scale that's in so uh, like having this is just such a, a great thing to have honestly so this is how you change the mouth and then let's put in a uh let's see here what mouth are we going to choose where are they so here it is with uh, the hands they are a bit difficult to get in without them falling off i found so maybe some adjusting will be need uh, needed but overall this is such a beautiful figure um the, the articulation is very nice you can adjust these right here and uh, everything about this is just so, just so awesome. Honestly, it's such a cool uh, action figure. So for an articulation test, it goes wide, you know, like this. It's double jointed, and it's got a, yeah, the joints are very, this might be, might even be triple jointed. I don't know, but it's got uh, very good joints. Everything, the armor is very nice. Um, it works well. There's no issues. Maybe the shoulder pads a little bit, but honestly, it's kind of ex expected. And uh, the uh, arm arm articulation is very nice. No issues here. Hands move nicely. Everything about this is very cool. Up and down. You can bend the arms this way. And the, the uh, head, is, it's on right here. You can just go all the way around. Very, very nice. You can take the cape off and put on this uh, this thing. But honestly, I, just, I don't want to do it. I'm sorry. I'm not going to use it, but um, honestly, this cape is so wonderful. I mean, you can pose it in many, many ways. It's just honestly, I can't say enough good things about this uh, figure. Uh, I'm a new customer of this company, Beast Kingdom. Um, it's such a great deal for $90, dude. You get so much. I mean, it's such a beautiful figure. Um, video, just showing you this review, it doesn't, it doesn't, show off the beauty in per like it doesn't show off the beauty that it has in person because it really is a magnif magnificent piece let me go ahead and open the stand up here let me just move this out of the way i'm sorry if i'm not displaying all the accessories like i did earlier but i just, i'm honestly the type of guy who just doesn't want 
or is uh, not going to mess like a lot with a lot of the accessories the figure comes with. But um, there is the baggie. We're just opening up this uh, stand here. So overall, the stand works perfect. Um, it's very nice and adjustable, uh, and it fits the figure very well. And honestly, just it's so stinking beautiful, dude. So guys, let me know what you think about this figure. Um, just the overall detail you're getting with this figure is just so amazing. It's literally like a Hot Toys figure scaled down to Mego scale, and it's just a, it's just a it's. A, I'm sorry. It's such a dream. Sorry, I'm so amazed by this. I'm stuttering my words, and I'm sorry about that, but I just can't say enough good things about this because it's literally a dream come true to me that a figure like this exists, and uh, I'm sad I didn't know about this figure much sooner because I would have bought this the second it come out, but it's okay. We got this figure at cheap uh, for a cheap price. Uh, I'm pretty sure you can buy this on Amazon and a couple other places, and uh, he's pretty cheap, and I believe... You can get the Joker at Entertainment Earth and a couple other places. So guys, let me know what you think about this figure. Overall, it's such a beauty. Thank you, um, just the Mega Museum, for introducing me to this company. I just, I, I'm, I'm in love with this figure. It's such a beauty to behold. And yeah, that's just honestly, it's, it's a great figure. I can't recommend it highly enough. So guys, let me know down in the comments if you want to get this figure or playing to. And uh, just in general, what you think about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you have a wonderful day and see you next video. Have a great day.